Assalamualaikum friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Z Mentor. So today we're going to be doing something different, and today we're going to be doing Canva. So I'm just going to give you a small tour about Canva, and I'm going to tell you the advantages and disadvantages of using Canva on uh, graphic designing. So first, you just have to go to um, Google and search Canva, and just type it. And the first link you can just open it, and uh, you have to sign in for that. Mine's already signed in. So after signing in, you have this button, create design. You will have this kind of interface after signing in. So create, click on create design and you can like check any whatever you want from here. But also you can use from here a faster way. So I'll tell you just a poster one. Poster. So you can see there are so many posters. And you can just check an A, a, a4 size poster. A four size poster, and uh, you can see it will come here. Let's take um, let's take this one A three landscape. It's opening. You can make a custom design, but this should be good. So after this is done, you will have this kind of interface, and over here there's some uh, templates you can use for your um uh, design and for the elements you can check. There are some different types of elements over here. There are animated ones and non-animated ones too. As you can see over here. And you can upload your own things over here and check. And the text side, you can add texts and the projects. And you can purchase the Canva Pro. And uh, so we'll start using the elements first. We can just search a background. And we can take this kind of background and paste it in. And just make it bigger. Like this. Like this. So now we can take more of the backgrounds and just place it in. And there are dimensions for this too. And to work with it, you have to press Alt to work with the backgrounds. Get it? Alt. You can add this in the middle, right here. And you can uh, um, change opacity level to maybe 15 and we can actually add this as a whole thing like this like this so as you can see it's added and this is looking good so select it again and just change opacity yes a bit like 10 that's it this is looking good so now we can uh, take more of the elements and we can search on graphics over here. So let's check. We can add these dots, polka dots over here. You can barely see it, but it's here. And you can just change opacity again. Maybe 70 or 60 something because it's already light. So that's enough. So you can see it. And next thing is we can add a bit text from here. We can add this glow text. We just click on it once and double click to change whatever we like. Alright, I am Z mentor. And we can also change the color from here. We can just add a color from here. And change the colors. I'll add a bluish tone because this all is about like blue tone stuff. And to change the color I'll tell you I'll tell it to you again. Select the text and from here. And you can also make it bold from here. B and you can make it bigger and smaller from here too and you can also change the font from here like this or this that's looking good just make it smaller and here if your text is cutting like mine like this so you can just um, make it bigger like this so you can place it on top like that drag it from here okay so this is a small tour of Canva. Now we can just upload our own image. So you can upload files and you can upload your own image over here. I'm going to upload my image. So as you can see, I'm it's uploading. There was a icon here about the water thing, so it's right here. 
you can just click and drag this away and it's right here. So we can make it smaller and change opacity to about 200. Click this, make it smaller and keep it right here. And maybe change this color to maybe red. It will look much better. Yes, and look good. So this is just a small tour of Canva and that's done. And there are some disadvantages. It can be that you cannot give anybody your source file if you if anybody asks you for your source file if you're giving it to your client so you cannot give source files in this and uh, advantages can be that um you can use some in, in pre-made templates over here which uh, you can you should not use but it can give copyright but you should probably not use it but it might not and might so there's a 50 free chance but you can take the presets and uh, like edit it a bit. So these were the disadvantages and advantages. So I hope I hope you like this video. This was a small video about the Canva tour. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.